All right, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bag the front. Now I'm hoping that these 2600s actually fit. I might have to do some modifications. We'll see what happens along the way, see how everything goes. Uh, once you have your workstation set up, which I envy you guys with garages, but this is my setup. This is how I'm gonna be able to work outside. I've got my tent for shade, I've got my fan, so to blow on me, I've got my wife, my daughter, got my tool, which I was able to bring out in one shot. I got me a sawhorse ready. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to set your truck up on the most level ground that you have, which I had to try and fit mine all onto this one square here because it's cracked. And then get your truck up on an even amount of blocks. That way your whole truck is even with itself. And what you're doing is you're bringing the ground level up. So therefore, that tire is going to have to come up high enough to set on three of those blocks. Once you get it up to that high, that's where you're going to want to set your bag mount at the top, which I've got my bag mount here. I still need to round off the corners, gussets, bags, small array of tools that I have, my welder, and that. So... Let's get started on this. You gotta take everything off of this. And first thing you wanna do is take off the fender. Once you get it to this point. Because then you'll be able to get in there and work at everything. And I pulled the torsion bar off. And then I got the shock out of there. And then I put the wheel back on and jacked it up. I'm only two blocks high. I've gotta go one more full block up in here. Which I'm running into the firewall. I have a short solution for that. Also, I'm looking at the way the last person did this. See how they cut jagged and jagged and jagged and I'm running into this so I got to cut the rest of that out. I've got to relocate that wiring up higher and I've got a little hand helping me. Hi. Right? What else we got to do? Something with that, huh? Okay. That's what I got to do next right now. Alright, I got the rest of that cut out. Now it's nice and even. I've kind of relocated this up for a little bit but now that's that's straight and that cuts in I've got it jacked all the way up now this tire measures 25 inches from the bottom to the top that's called the diameter okay 25 inches the top a 20 inch rim with a low profile tire on it will measure at about 25 and a half to 26 inches depending on what size sidewall this is my problem I am hitting the master the clutch, uh, clutch master cylinder already, and I'm already two blocks high, and I would need the rest of this block to be able to lay out. I'm I'm about an inch to two inches from being able to lay all the way out on the frame. There's one other thing that. I'm going to have to do for the future. The transmission cross member hangs below the frame just a little bit. That's going to have to be cut off and a new one built. Or unless they have a kit for it, I might end up buying one. So this is what I'm looking at right now. i got to figure out what I'm going to do. I think if I just go with a low pro lower profile tire now, I'll have that extra that I need to lay out, which I have a set in the shop. And I can just transfer the wheels over. So I'm going to go ahead and bag it where it sits now. And uh, I'll worry about the rest of this stuff later, including moving the Clutch Master cylinder. Oh, and there's tape on it because when I bent it, it, it broke on the edge. So I'm going to have to redo that line right there. But right now it's up and out of the way. I took a sledgehammer and I mashed in the firewall enough to be able to clear the tire so that's not going to bother anything right now. Alright, just like hang on, my wife bought me a sandwich. This thing is so good. Oh my god. So, you got to cut the rest of all your suspension back out. Well, for me I got to do it again. So, cut it all out nice and flush and flat. So that way you can get your bag mount in there. Um, that bar right there is going to be close to my bag. So I'm actually going to have to have my bag 
off to the right side towards the back so that it doesn't rub with those. You have to watch for everything. But I think my bag is going to fit in here real nice. So now I just, I got to make a, a bottom uh, mounting plate unless I feel that my bag will mount directly to that. But you need a flat mounting plate for your bag to mount to. So that's what I'm doing next. All right, I've got my bag placed where I want it. This is about as good as it's gonna get. I had to actually flip those over to give me a little bit of extra space. The brake line, I'm gonna have to figure out something on this because it is normally right there. And it rubs all over the bag when you turn all the way. And right now, I have just that room to be able to do this. So, there's about a quarter to a half an inch of space on the back side of the bag, and I didn't have to make any modifications except the fact that it's flat. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and tack weld this in, and then uh, do my bottom bag mount, and see if we can't get this thing to actually move around on its own here in just a little bit. All right. You're gonna have to collapse your bag, so get your wife to stand on your bag. That way you can put your stop in it and uh, get all the air out of it. That way you can make sure where it's going to be in there all right here we go that's the uh, gussets are in place my nasty welds are on the outside remember I'm not a professional so you can tell me my welds look nasty but they're gonna hold these welds look just like the ones that was on the red and black one and that one is still together so I'm not looking for big-time trophies I'm, I'm just bagging my truck so I got to drill one more hole in the middle of that so the bag can mount and then I'm going to slide the bag in there. But that's what you're going to look like. There's the upper control arm right there and that and that. Yeah, I'm tired. All right, I got my bag in there. Everything is bolted up. I've got there we go. Metal stacked up on top of metal to make that bottom plate sit the way I wanted it to. It's got the same amount of drop that I had. So in other words, I'm going to have to go with either a smaller rim or I'm going to have to take that clutch master cylinder out and tub the firewall. I'm probably going to go with a smaller rim. That's really what I'm thinking. So, that's how we bag the front. Hopefully, I've got every angle that you guys wanted. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so my welds aren't perfect. But they're going to hold, and I'm not worried about that. So there we go. It fits in there nicely. I'm going to go ahead and put it on, put, put the wheel on and get it on the ground and see what it does. Alright, now that this is all done, then you can sit back and you can do this. Bring it all the way back up now. We don't have no valves or no compressors or nothing. There you go. That's how to bag the front. Oh, let me get that. That's how to bag the front of the truck. And uh, so go do it yourself now. And go have fun. And play with your friends and tell them that. You did it yourself. You can sit at a show and be like, yeah, that's mine. I still got to do the other side, and then I'll be done. Thank you for watching. Please click that thumbs up button. That really helps me a lot. Please like it, like it, like it. Uh, please subscribe. Please leave comments down there at the bottom. Uh, if you have any uh, questions, I'll get back to you as soon as you can. Anything I miss, please let me know. And uh, that's it. See you guys next time.